Hey guys, it's Amanda with Purple Panda Productions and today we're going to be talking about the best budget camera for beginners in 2020. So when I started my career back in 2018, this camera was the first ever DSLR camera I ever received. This camera has gotten me through everything, from the first time I started doing photo shoots to the time when I really started getting out there with videography and started making some high quality videos. This camera may seem a few years old and a bit small, but trust me, it has a lot of power to this tiny package, and it comes at a great price. So the Canon 80D is an APS-C sensor, which means it's not full frame, it has that crop, about a 1.7 crop compared to a full frame camera. It also has 24.2 megapixels, as well as it has dual pixel autofocus. Canon's dual pixel autofocus is changing the game, and yet it doesn't have the most updated firmware, it still is pretty damn good. It shoots seven frames per second, which is really good for high action photos and sports photography. It also includes the Digic 6 processor, as well as an optical viewfinder. The video capabilities of this are 1080p at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. 24 frames per second is pretty good if you're shooting some cinematic stuff as well as 60 frames per second to get that nice slow action b-roll. The Canon 80D has a flip out LCD screen which is great for those that are just getting into vlogging. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to compare these two. I'm going to put this around the same setup that I have right now and then we can compare the image quality that comes out. All right, so we're going to be comparing the Canon 80D to the EOS R in 3, 2, 1. All right, so this is the Canon 80D. Does it look different? Does it look similar? I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think. This is test footage of the Canon 80D, and this is test footage of the EOS R. Alrighty, so the price that you're getting for the 80D at the time that this was recording, on the Canon store, it's around just under $1,000, and I believe you can get a better deal on Amazon. If you have some extra money to spend, then another great option would be the newly released Canon 90D, which is about, I believe, $1,200 at this point. With the 90D, you can get 124 frames per second 4K, but if you don't really need that, then the 80D would be a great choice. All right, everybody, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give this tutorial a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Canon 80D. Thanks, bye.